Did you know that poorly constructed projects or delayed completion of community projects is a red flag for corruption? Residents of Mulangililo Ward of Kwacha constituency appreciate the newly constructed Malangi Bridge linking Kawama and Mulangililo Wards, but others feel the bridge would have been much wider and seek more information about the project, such as how much money was allocated and who is the contractor responsible for the project. <laughs> Bridge, Naba to Pangira Bridge, Idea Ripuaka and Naba if me up, or Naba to Pangira Que Ipia. Nombe Wafia Budipadi Ipia, Nai Chepa, E no no, Muntunga Reisa, No Reiso, Kufidangani, Arenda Ninjing, a Tet Mupusa Nika Bridge in Aka Chepela. Eltra Rombako Nakuva Lewa may bridge you quever, but to ever co Padi Bridge. Pantu E Bridge of Wai Pangira Nai Chepa, Elen Frangayaloka, Utia Ingira, Tia Yamensia Repita Pamuru. Ukutotera na tutotera wino na tupangira mba tofa tuwe kon Nga tuwabe pusha pa mpie shoba po sere po pali ibriji Vale kano kutuwe po vale randu kwe vati ifuwe chukuru na tumipangire fe Meanwhile, the WDC chairperson Mr. Douglas Mushota disclosed that he had no idea of the funds allocated towards the project but only had speculations and further added that despite council approving the project among its those proposed, it did not provide information on the cost or contractors had for this particular project. The bridge so far than the two bridges. We need to add a team or other chapters, and we don't have uh, an official figure from the local government, which is council, from our other council, but it's just rumors. And I'm um, sure so I cannot draw much on rumors. Supposed to get an interview with Blang Little Watt, Councillor Mr. Matthew Chiaka approved you to as a strong remained and answered. In a quest to get answers from the CDF committee, the CDF secretary advised residents to appreciate the bridge rather than raise questions for it is the bridge they wanted and given in the end. One, uh, we are talking about Malangi Bridge, which was which is completed now, and people are accessing the bridge, which is okay. Though to some, they even wanted to know how much it was funded, who did the work and all that. But at the end of the day, it was done. Community members and the general public are advised to resist and reject all suspected forms of corruption and report to Anti-Corruption Commission in person or email them at info at acc.gov.zm or call the toll-free line 5980 or landline 221603. Reporting for the SCDF Projects, my name is Chongo Jacqueline.